Hello there YouTubers and welcome to a quick warning video. What you're looking at is the inside of the Hitachi model PS38 record player and uh, the other day I had a bit of a disaster happening with this one. Suddenly there was white smoke coming out of it and it was stinking horribly and uh, so I hurried, got the thing outside of the house and took a look inside and I found the parts that were responsible for the mess. Here they are. Two capacitors that blew up. The record player was just plugged in. It wasn't turned on or anything. It was just plugged in. So, yeah, these are really nasty capacitors made by a brand called Rifa. R-I-F-A. So it's a good idea to um, check for those capacitors. Uh, you can find them everywhere. I mean, these are sitting in an old 1976 Japanese record player. I read that they are also sitting in the Revox A77. And uh, they're also sitting in Yamaha amplifiers from the 80s and 90s. And um, they will blow up. <laughs> I don't know. I think they were designed so bad that they'll do that. But fact is that um, sooner or later they'll all blow up. <laughs> and um, I mean these, the way those blew up, they just blew some junk against the motor right there, but that was all. There were capacitors like these that even caused a fire. So was quite lucky with these ones. Now, these capacitors, I have not found out exactly what they are doing in the circuitry, but uh, I think the only thing they are really doing is um, there are some sort of filter capacitors, uh, line filter capacitors. Uh, they are sitting in the primary circuitry of the transformer. So, I think it should be pretty safe to just take them out and then I can try this record player again. Whenever they blew up the motor of the record player was spinning really really fast. So, I hope that uh, it didn't blow up the speed control or anything like that. Now I have all the blown parts taken out. I also found this resistor here, which, uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's cracked apart. Um, with this resistor, it blew somewhere deep inside, as it seems, because you can see how it blew out all the, all the layers of the capacitor right there. Kind of crazy. And uh, the other capacitor of the housing just completely cracked apart. Haven't replaced those parts, they don't seem to be very important, but just in case I ever replace them, I wrote all the values on the circuit board. So, however, I have it all back together, so now I'm gonna plug it in and see if it works, if it still works. I already checked the two fuses, those aren't blown, but if I'm honest, uh, I think it would have been better if they were blown, really, but uh, we'll see. Well, I think I had a lot of luck. The record player is still working. As you can see, it's running on 33 RPM. And um might be able to see the speed is correct. Off and 45 rpm and now well down there you can see speed is correct now one thing i noticed before was that the little neon light would never turn off even when the record player was turned off it would still light up just a little bit you know it was not as bright as it is when a record player is turned on but it would still light up but now, if we turn it off without the capacitors, you can see it goes off. 
completely. So, there you have it. The Hitachi Model PS38 Direct Drive Racket Player. And some really, really nasty Rifa brand capacitors. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you again soon.